Today we're in Aubrey, Texas in the community of Sam Brock Ranch and we're going to show you a model home by Highland Homes and this fantastic community. Yeah, this model is the 261, um, one of the most popular floor plans, especially in this, uh, in this price point. Now, Sam Brock Ranch is, actually has a few different sizes. Highland has four different lot sizes, 45, 50, 60, and a 70. Now, today's product, we're in the 60 foot. Um, so, get you a little wide lot, able to be, get that pool, everything that you want perfect size for that young family and that sort of thing. Yeah. Now, if this is your first time on our channel, my name is Andy. And I'm Patrice. And like I said, we are local real estate agents specialized in all things Texas real estate. We have a team of agents all across this great state and we bring model home tours, uh, information, new construction, Q&A, everything that you would possibly need about all your real estate needs right here on this channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, that bell so you're alerted every time we do a video. Now again, this is the Model 261. This thing is a 3,000 square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half baths. I love this layout. I do too, yeah. Love this layout. Like I said, it's about 3,000 square feet, has a downstairs media, well, it's all one story, so of course it's downstairs. Two islands. Two islands and one <laughs> office. You gotta love it, you gotta so, love it. Uh -huh. Let's get started on this tour and let's, let's go through it. these double doors. Two doors. <laughs> Come on in. As you walk in to your left, there's an office, huge office with plenty of space. Obviously, we you're gonna see some uh, upgrades here with the built-ins and everything, but this is, you know, you can get it done just like this. It's fantastic. And then as we go on out to your right is Andy. <laughs> Hello again. Well, over here is a secondary bedroom. Uh, front side of the house. What's not nice and unique about this is a decent size, but it's got its own ensuite and walk-in closet, which is kind of cool. Um, but again, nothing else to really show you. What I really wanted to show you is right around the other side. It looks like Patrice is going to. Show you. you can show. Them. All right. You got it. <laughs> This is the media room, downstairs media room, which is fantastic. We wish we had one. Ours is upstairs and we don't use it very often. No. So it's I kind of a totally, bummer. See? I mean, this is you can, perfect. It's great. And it's a good size. You could have two levels if you want, or just, you know, big old sectional. You could do all kinds of stuff in here. British Open starting uh, this <laughs> week. Uh, it'd be perfect. Yeah, yes. And out we go. We'll go on out this way and down this huge hall which is beautiful and then we have another bedroom so this one nor good size room good size closet it's got its own bathroom which you gotta love well it's a jack and jill but it's kind of its own i mean at the same time and it's got a good feel to it so we're gonna take you on out this way. But we'll let Andy take over. Look at this. Like Patrice was saying, this kitchen is awesome. You've seen some of our other videos, you've noticed that we really, this trend is of this color wood is really in, kind of that white oak, which I really love. Here's a product of the problems that we're having with supply and issues. Look at you, you'll notice no stove top. And no microwave. No microwave. <laughs> That's in someone's house so they can close on it. So, mm -hmm. and you do have the double ovens. We love the um, big island in the front. You do have what I would call maybe a peninsula. I wouldn't call it necessarily a um, two islands, but look at this thing. Yeah. You, you have the option to put two different um, fireplaces in. This is probably the most common area to put it in. Uh, which is it could be set up as is a dining or, or however you want to however you want to do it. Uh, sliders obviously are an option in this model, and then you've got this big family room. But in this area, you could put a fireplace as well if you want. Yeah. In fact, we have another model, and I'll link it above that we did this 261 in Prosper. 
um, which gives it a totally different look. So make yeah, sure you check out that video afterwards, especially if you like this floor plan, because mm -hmm. it gives you kind of some more different decorating ideas. And mm -hmm. it's just, it's doesn't just, even look like the same house, really. Doesn't even look like the same house, but has the dual fireplaces. So, mm -hmm. she's one of those show. I like the seating area too. Oh, that's awesome. Have. So if you head back this way, this is the master bedroom. Got a little coat closet over there. But this is the master. They've, it's a huge, huge room. We've got a nice sitting area. Even with the ceiling being black, this room feels huge. It just feels like a big, huge room, which is cool. And I think part of that is because of this bump out. Yeah. Right? So this bump out is an option. Um, it's not that much. I don't know, 5,000 or so. Um, you know, it, it's not bad, but look at how much more space it gets. And what I love is all the more natural light, right? So you get two more giant windows that are gonna bring in all that natural light. So Patrice, what about this uh, ensuite? Well, the bathroom. This is a beautiful bathroom. We've got the standalone tub, which is everybody's favorite, of course. You've got a good size shower, and dual sinks, of course, are a must. Kind of nice to have that little vanity area, too. And then we've got a big closet. But as you know, I love the closets that attach to the room. Oh, that's but it doesn't. That's what I was saying, that's odd. That's we'll right, see. it doesn't. Never mind. <laughs> Let's try that again. That <laughs> but got a good sized closet. And it comes out, and a lot of times in these models, you'll see that they attach to the laundry room. This one doesn't, but it's just right over there. So it's not that far, and it, you know, gives you a little bit of ways, but not too bad. Good size laundry room with a sink, which is fantastic, and the beautiful cabinets again. Good enough to make you want to do some laundry. What do you got over there, Andy? Well, right here, ignore this, because this would be your third car garage, okay? But back here, this is where Patrice just left, and that's a closet. Now, in all honesty, I would, if I was building, I would leave this as a, I would take away the door, and, you know, just give you some more college, or, uh, closet space, because, I mean, this isn't a 10,000 square foot house. You don't need that little shortcut, in my opinion, but it's not my house, it's yours. Let's and go. you don't do the laundry. And I don't do the laundry. <laughs> so, I mean, maybe I'm biased. I mean, all right, so this is a secondary bedroom, but check out this decor. I have to admit, this paint job is kind of weird. What are your thoughts? No, don't like that. Is that in? Comment below, let, me, let us know what your thoughts are. It's like they painted it. It kind of bothers my... Yeah, there's something about it that just drives me bonkers but this uh bathroom or this uh bedroom has its own ensuite as well with the drop-in shower which if you have those teenage kids they definitely like that versus the tub mm -hmm. so. and it's got a little powder bath here for guests which is nice so they don't have to use that bathroom it's very nice it's cool how they made the tile go all the way up got the floor well, can we go in this backyard and kind of show backyard. you the backyard they'll show you in the backyard just so you can kind of get an idea. Yeah, we won't go through the sliders. A patio option. So look at this is a really good size lot. Plenty of room for not only a pool, but you put a trampoline, a play set, whatever you want, even though this community has uh, everything that you could possibly want. It's got the dog park, like we were saying earlier, the community pool, the amenity center, the gym, the event coordinator, the whole nine yards. But again, this model, Highland Homes 261, is available in several different communities all across Texas. So what we'll do for now is we're going to tour around, show you kind of the amenities and that sort of thing. And until the next time, I'm Andy. And I'm Patrice. Take care. Thank you.